Hey, what up, my freddies? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown YouTube video. I'm your host, Pineapple Fred, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing more random battles and hopefully climb the ladder a little bit more. Uh, as you remember from last video, uh, I wanted to make this a series, and uh, I'm not really climbing that well. As you can see, I'm at 1477. Uh, and yeah, hopefully play one or two, maybe three games, and we'll see. So we've got Swoobat, Cloyster, Corviknight, Shinotic, Copperaja, and Obstagoon. This thing is scary. Mm, power Jam is, is imminent, so I'm going to go to Corviknight because that's a good counter. I do think Nihilego can learn Thunderbolt. Uh, so, yep, okay, there we go. That does a lot of damage, holy crap. Um, okay, I'm going to Roost to just suss out what they're going to do. Hopefully they'll switch. But um, uh, if you don't know, I'm actually traveling at the moment, and I'm in a different location. Oops, sorry about that. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm in a different location. I'm currently in a hotel room, and my... Laptop is still two meters away. I saw some comments saying or giving me suggestions as to um, how I could fix this, you know, by a, a remote keyboard so I can type uh, or plug in my computer to a bigger screen. And as I said before, I'm broke. I'm too poor for this. I'm working multiple jobs plus the YouTube just to afford a living and tuition. So it's very expensive. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can find a cheap alternative. I mean, I'm not looking to spend a lot of money on this but hopefully it works and i'm having a lot of fun with this so it's not going to stop me from trying um flamethrower i think uh this is physical right it's been a while since i've done random battles you know i don't grind this the last time i um the last video came out about like a week ago um, from the point of from the time of this recording so uh, this video will probably come out a week after um so flamethrower is coming i i don't really know who to go to maybe obstagoon um, we're slower and I don't really outspeed it, so I kind of want to keep this because it walls the nail I go. Um, maybe I'll get rid of the Copper Raja because I can sweep with this thing. I can sweep with these two. That's good, good support tanky. This one's kind of useless. So let's get rid of the, ooh, okay, nice. Um, completely forgot that it could run Volt Switch. I don't know why. It's pretty late at night. Uh, I'm very tired, but I, you know, I just wanted to play some Showdown, so... I'm not expecting to win any of these games, to be honest. I'm still sort of just remembering and learning as I go. Please do a lot. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Okay. Um, uh, ooh, and we get the dub. All right. I'm not going to keep speaking. I don't want to waste your time, so let's just move right into the next game. All right. So since that game was pretty fast, uh, I think I want to do three battles for this video. I mean, I should just keep them all three battles, you know, regardless of the time. But I do... I sh it's hard because I don't want to keep track of the time for the sake of the video, but at the same time, it, it can it can get quite long because some some random battles could last several turns and it could turn, end up being an hour long video. Uh, so if you guys want to see an hour long video, let me know. Maybe I can keep playing until I play up to like a hundred games. I tried that for a YouTube video, but it sucked. Uh, but if you want to go check it out, go for it. This thing is scary. Dialga, Slurpuff, uh, Flash Cannon's coming. I got Omastar, Excadrill, Swoobat again. Uh, similar set. Copperaja again. What are the odds, man? What the hell? And Claydol. I think I'm going to go to Claydol. Dialga typically runs Flash Cannon, Stealth Rock, Toxic, and something else, I think. So let's go to go to the Claydol here. Okay. Again, that did more damage than I think it than I thought it was going to do, but not, you know, a lot. But okay, let's go for the Earthquake. Um, what are they going to do? And again, since I can't type on my laptop, uh, I, I can't because, you know, it was like two two meters away. I can't really write GLHF, bud, or if, if someone types, I can't really respond. So I'm not toxic. I'm just really dumb with my layout, and it's very far away. And I've said this many times before in the previous commentaries, but the reason why I do this is because, you know, really, really crappy MacBook fan makes big noise, pick up microphone, not fun to hear. So let's go to the Swoobat here. Leech Seed, Leech Seed, Leech Seed. Okay, um... It could go for knockoff or gyro ball, so I think my best bet is just is just to go for the heat wave. Um, but yeah, I, I I love doing these commentaries, and it is tough coming coming up with new teams every single day for a new video. So I think what ooh okay, well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play more of these random formats like monotypes. I'm really into monotype random battles. That's a lot of fun, and I think I might do a video series on that too. Um, and yeah, I mean the last commentary one. Uh, of this series it didn't really do so well i don't but i don't particularly care about the views um obviously to a certain extent i do but you know 
I'm having so much fun with this series that I'm just going to keep going regardless of what kind of happens. Please freeze. You know what? It's fine. Um, but yeah, quick update on the day, of, day in life of Pineapple Fred. I've actually edited six videos today. Um, and I am also playing a lot of games because I'm sort of in this hotel. I'm working a lot and I'm uh, you know, doing some school stuff. Uh, I, I am traveling, but you know, when I have downtime, I try to get as much work as, you know, as much work done as possible. And today I just, I was just kind of busy with this stuff. So yeah, you got to do what you got to do. So let's go for the heat wave again. And I saw a comment last time saying that Fred needs to learn to multitask because I leave my opponents for a long time. And that is true. Once I start talking, I, I kind of forget about the game. Um, Mudsdale. Okay. Stop talking and think. Stealth Rock. Body Press. Earthquake. And something else. So let's go to Claydol again. This thing is honestly such a great tank. Uh, okay, sweet. And I'm free to go for another Ice Beam. Ferrothorn is coming again. I could just, you know, make the play and go for the Swoobat right away. So that's what I'm going to try. Yes. Okay. I can land a Heat Wave and whatever comes in will take a fair bit of damage. So... Okay. I mean, I've played so much Showdown today and it's like late at night that I'm kind of just done with the game, I but I still really want to play, so Heat Wave is coming, and honestly, if this is the same exact set, I'm good to go for the Omastar and Shell, this thing doesn't have Shell Smash, great, my vision's also kind of blurry, so I see the spikes, I see the S, and I just thought it was Shell Smash, but not very good, okay, um, fun, fun bit of uh, psychology for you guys, uh, in case you wanted to learn psychology today, uh, when humans see the first letter and the last letter, they can basically sort of determine or decipher what word it is. Uh, I read this um, research paper when I was studying psychology that, you know, you could jumble up a bunch of words, but as long as the first and the last letter is the same, people will tend to get the words. So like spikes, you can mess up the words in between. and yeah, it's, it's a really cool pheno phenomenon, but there's your daily dose of psychology with Pineapple Fred. You might be wondering, you might be wondering Fred, uh, are, are, don't you study chemistry? Yep. Let's go to Clay Doll. No, Power Whip. Power Whip. Okay, let's go for Copperaja. So far, it's been a pretty stale match. Oh, that's not good for them. And I can go for the heat. Cr this thing doesn't have heat crash. Fuck. Why didn't I check? Oh, it probably didn't last last game. I, I didn't check either. Oh well. Let's go for the Stealth Rock. This is, since it's going to be a sort of a switching game, yeah, that'll be okay with me. That thing definitely is Earthquake, but. Let's go back to Clay Doll. Perfect tank here. Um, okay, we both go for Stealth Rock. Please have Rapid Spin. Please have Rapid Spin. I don't remember. Okay, I do. Thank God. Again, that's my issue with random battles. I see the Pokemon, but I don't actually take the time to look at the moves. So, you, you see all these, like, people that are up top in the ladder. It's They, they play well because they, they, know, they know what's up. I don't. The highest I've ever gotten on Gen 8 National Vex random, no, not National Vex, Gen 8 random battles, I think was 1800s, and I, st some people don't consider that high ladder. I, c I consider it high ladder for me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's as good of, as I've gotten, and I hover around 14 to 1500, you know, when I'm not particularly trying. This thing is scary, but um, what do I do here? Maybe go to Copperaja again, because they, they did switch out. I think they do fear the heat crash. Again, that is nice. That is so nice for me. I'm so sorry, dude. What, what, what's your name? Hang on. I'm going to leave the microphone and read the name. It is DeFast4. I'm sorry, DeFast4. I really need a better setup. This is just awful, having to you know move back and forth between a microphone. Okay. Um, What's their last move? Power Whip? I'm going to go for Ice Beam again. And you know what? Just bait the freeze. Go for freeze. Please, 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 please. You know what? It's fine with me. And let's go to Copper Raj. Honestly, Ferrothorn is so fucking annoying. I don't have any fighting moves or fire moves. This is going to be a long battle. As I said, I could do three battles, uh, but it could, it could take a long ass time. So that's going to go for Protect again. I have nothing I can do against this. Um... Because Slurpuff will die in one hit. Once I land the Unburden, it's going to fuck me up. And I kind of need this. I also have... Ooh, they might protect. No, but they're not. Why would they? Why would they protect? Fuck it. Let's try it. If they protect, it's kind of... Okay, of course they protect. Of course they protect. They're full HP. You know what? It's fine. Thank you. Um, it's a good time for me to roost. Nice. Um, 
Okay, so we're both around equal HP. Are we the same? No, we're not. We're, I, I got a bit more health. I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna go for the heat wave here. Nice. And they miss. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry to fast four. Um, I really didn't deserve that, but I've, had, I've been having some really bad luck today farming content, and you know what? I, I think I deserve this for today. If you, if you guys saw all the BS that I've been through today, oh man. Oh man. All right, Mudsdale comes in. I still want to keep the Swoobat because of the Heat Wave. I want to keep it for the Ferrothorn. And the Mudsdale is scary, so we're going to go back to the Clay Doll here. Uh, what are they going to do? Rock Slide. Okay. Fine with me. And let's go back to the Ice Beam. I want to start pressing the Skip button because I want to save a bit of time. Because I know this video is going to be very long anyway, so let's go for the. Oh, 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 nope. I meant to hit Rapid Spin. It's fine with me. They can go for the Leech Seed all they want. Yeah, Leech Seeded. Okay. And I'm good to go back to Swoobat. They're going to protect, right? No, very smart. They actually did the right thing this time. They learned. Um, very rarely do you see people learning while they're playing. You know, I sound like Vegeta from Dragon Ball. Like, oh my god, he's learning while they fight. But, uh, yeah, this ain't good. I'm... Yeah, that's really not good. I'm going to go for the Excadrill and go for a Sword Stance. Because I do outspeed these. I don't... Wait, do I? Is that an 8 or a 6? Okay, that's an 8. We're good. I'm going to go for the Sword Stance. Right, they're gonna power. Ooh. Honestly, I thought that was gonna do more. I'm really bad at sort of predicting how much moves are gonna do sometimes. Oh yes. <sighs> Honestly, that was the only thing that was holding me back. That that kind of scared me. This is gonna fuck me up. But do I want to keep the Excadrill? Because it, it 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 will be a good counter for the Dialga. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I don't want anything else to take a lot of damage. This can knock out the Keldeo, and the Clay Doll, I guess, could take care of the Dialga, right? Yeah, it is faster, and I don't think it can one-shot me. So I think I'm good, actually. Let's go for the Earthquake here. And I have to remember that, that I do have a Dynamax, um, and so do they. So let's go for Play Rough here. Whatever comes in is fine with me. The Mudsdale can. You know what? I don't, I don't really care. Um, yeah, okay, Mudsdale comes in, and we go for the Play Rough. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the Iron Head. Huh. Nice. I thought the Body Press was going to kill. I, you know, my, my jaw literally dropped. Uh, Haxorus comes in. Dragon Dance, maybe? Please, Dragon Dance. Nope. Just the close combat. Right thing to do. And... I want to get the Belly Drum off, but I think it might one-shot me here. So... Okay, now we're in the end game. I got. I gotta think about this. If I Dynamax with a Slurpuff, it won't kill me with a Poison Jab, and I'll kill it. But then he'll Dynamax with this and just sweep these two, so I'll be fucked. Either way, I think I need to land a Dynamax now. So, mm, it has close combat, so it takes takes out the Omastar, and it's got a Life Orb, so I'm fucked. Clay Doll. You know what? Fuck it. Clay Doll. Let's go. Um. And let's go for the Ice Beam. I think I think I made the right choice. Okay, Keldeo comes in. You know what? I'm actually okay with... Um, I want to sack the Omastar and hopefully bait and get the Belly Drum off. That's fine with me. And now let's go for... Fuck it, Ice Beam, just for the memes. Nah. Okay, here we go. Let's go for Belly Drum. And then we're going to get the Unburdened. Then we Dynamax and Sweep. Please don't burn. Please don't fucking burn. Fuck you. Damn it. Damn it. This is what I mean. I've, got, I've been getting bad RNG all day. I know that's 30% chance, but I've been burned by literally almost every single Scald today. And this sucks. So let's go for the Drain Punch. Get some health back. Ooh, nice. Please, please, please. 50%. Over 50%, maybe? Okay, 56. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, that thing might Dynamax, but yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Damn it. Okay. Uh... Not great. Uh, we're faster. They have 26% HP. Because, you know, uh, if you don't know, Dynamax doubles your health. Does an Earthquake kill a Dialga with plus defense? Probably not. So I think I'm going to have to Dynamax and get some... Oh, okay. Haxorus? That's a questionable play, but okay. I'm going to go for the Max Strike. Okay, that doesn't... Oh, the Keldeo will fuck me up. 
Unless I can get enough to f Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, it was scarfed. Oh no, silly me. You know what? I'm, I'm happy with this game though. It was close. GG well played, bud. And I think I am going to do one more battle because I'm having fun with this. And I'm on a roll, so hopefully we'll win the next one so we don't, you know, fluctuate too much on the ladder. And yeah, I'll go into the next game now. All right, so it's been 15 minutes about in this recording, so hopefully we can end this one fast. Uh, I don't really intend on making a 30 minute long video, not because like, you, well, you, I know you guys aren't gonna stay for the whole video and the retention will be low, but also my computer just can't handle that much processing. So let's go for the Calm Mind. Substitute Thousand Hour Dragon Dance Outrage is what I'm thinking the Zygarde has. Um, so, wait, no, yeah. If that's exactly what I'm thinking, then this thing doesn't do shit against my Shedinja, right? Oh. Okay. Um, definitely has knockoff. If it uses knockoff and I get the flame body, that would be that would be huge. Yeah, that would be huge. Please, please. You know, you you fucking burn me with a scald. Give me the flame body. You know what? You know what? Fuck you, showdown. I I don't care. I I, I hate you. You know. Great. Oh, I love you, Showdown. I love you. You could have done that earlier, but you know what? Better better late than never. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Um, I think this thing is choice of some sort because it chose to use knockoff again. So what I can do is... See, I can't Dragon Dance with the Kyurem. Wait. I got to be sure that it's not choice scarf because if it's scarfed, then my Dragon Dance doesn't matter. What I can do is... Dragon Dance now, and bait it out. If, if, if they're confident to come back in, then I know this Kartana is Scarfed. Right? That logic makes sense. Yeah. Because if, um, if I'm faster, then they're not going to dare come back. But I mean, realistically, I think Kartana can take a couple of hits. Because it, it's pretty tanky physically, but like, especially, it's just ass. Um, Speaking of Kartanas, I remember this one salty battle. It's actually on the video, uh, on the channel, but uh, this guy used an air balloon Kartana, and it was just the new meta. Maybe I should try that for a new video. Yeah, this thing is definitely a choice of some sort, and I'm good to just... Um, let me go for the Icicle Spear. Don't want to get greedy. Ooh, Kling Clang. Hello. When I saw Kling Clang, you know, at the first glance, I, I just thought, what the fuck, Pokemon? This is the, this is the ugliest and laziest design. But it really kind of grew on me. But I stand by it. Gen 5, I feel like Pokemon just ran out of ideas. They made a fucking gear. They made ice cream. They made trash. What, what, what the fuck? Are you, you, you going to make a computer mouse and a wall socket and a telephone? Well, we kind of have a telephone with Rotom. But like, next they're going to make a curtain Pokemon, a television Pokemon, a fucking vacuum cleaner Pokemon. Then they're going to make bottled water Pokemon. Watch Nintendo make a bottle of water a Pokemon for Generation 9. The executives are just going to be sitting around a fucking table like, ooh, Oh, let's get some water to drink. Oh, you know what? You know what would be a great idea? You know what would sell lots of money to little kids? Fucking water bottle. We could just... It's totally... I can totally see that happening, too. Um, gear grind, wild charge, shift gear, and substitute, maybe. So I don't think the Shedinja... I think the Shedinja should be fine. So let's go for the Poltergeist here. And before they just destroy me. They asked me, is it really you from YouTube? Yes, but I... Do I respond? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the computer and type yes. They're taking time to play anyway, so hit hit them with a yes, and hopefully they'll just you know play a bit faster. Uh, but yeah, that, sorry about the little rant about the water bottle. Just Pokemon got so lazy in Gen Five. I don't know. I, I feel like they're they've always been sort of lazy in the newer gens, but particularly in Gen Five, the designs were kind of shit. They just they, they had like filler Pokemon. You know, they made pretty cool ones. Like, you know, I like Embor, I like Electros, I like a lot of them. What's that electric Zeb Striker? That one's, that one's pretty sick. And then they were just like, they looked at their watch and saw Gears. The dude was having an ice cream for lunch, then he had to take out the trash. Literally in that whole, probably hour of doing stuff, he came up, he came up with three Pokemon. He or she, you know. Goddamn Pokemon, they're lazy sons of bitches. They're going to go for knockoff again. And this is valuable, because I can wall the Zygarde and the Kling Clang, so I don't really want to sack it right away. I'm going to go for the Beware, because it won't take a lot of damage. The Leftovers and the Lapras will be valuable. And uh, Leftovers on this. I don't really need a Life Orb, and I'll take, like, reduced damage, because I got Fluffy. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 
I'm okay with that, actually. Yeah, that's it's not going to do anything. They can max Knuckle. It'll do less than what they had initially, yeah. A, okay, Cartana's down, and this is good for us because they've used their Dynamax, so I'm going to skip this. Uh, shout out to this guy's name. Uh, I can't read it right now because it's really far, and it's a very long name. I can kind of decipher, oh, but my, my eyesight is very bad right now because it's very dark, so I'm very tired. Yeah. Is Beware supposed to be like a... It's like it's like a bear, right? But it, why the fuck does it have such a long tail? Is it like the big red panda? Can somebody Google this and let me know? I mean, I'd do it right now, but it, I'd have to cut out, click out of the video, then I'd have to go to my computer. It's a lot of work. You guys can do it for me. Let's go over to Close Combat. This is going to Shell Smash. Uh, don't have Sash, please. It's White Herb. Okay. I'm okay with this because... Oh, I'm very okay with this. Showdown is finally being nice to me for a little bit today. And of course it has to be against a fan. I genuinely feel so bad when I get lucky against my fans because I know how it feels. It sucks to just be winning and then all of a sudden RNG screws you. It's, uh, but it's, it's, um, it's Pokemon. Oh, they can't kill Shedinja. All right, that's awesome. But I would like to know the rest of their team. Um, please don't stall me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go right GG while play. Okay, they just left. Well, I think that's going to be it for the end of the video. We did go up the ladder, and um, yeah. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing because I do make some pretty awesome daily content. And if you're a recurring viewer and you just want to help the channel out, be sure to go down there and leave a like and a comment on the video. And yeah, with that said, why not watch another one of my videos? And if not, I'll see you in the next one.